guys you have an idea to recording a song but you don't know how to do this I'm gonna help you uh, first of all um, I want to show you what exactly you need for it it's not expensive uh, I have uh, the same home studio and uh, if you wanted to your track sounds like this <laughs> So, I will show you how to do this All tracks. you need to have a computer, I have a PC, not a Mac. Of course, better of all if you will have a sound card, USB, something like this. A module or not a module. Here I have a two inputs instrument. Unbalance it, here one and... Uh, here is the second or balance it I have here to balance it inputs here you see XLR yes this is the USB card <coughs> uh, of course you need to have uh, a guitar, it's a cheap guitar, old shit, but I can record with it some tracks. And <coughs> I'm using the direct box to connect the unbalanced cables. with balance it oh my god here it help helps to uh, to use uh, the instrument without human and noise or you can just plug it right into your audio card and I have a MIDI keyboard if you can buy and if you have money you can buy it but you can record your s tracks without it okay and I don't have a monitors I have just uh, the home audio yes Okay. And of course you need the program what you will using for recording your song. Uh, you can uh, find uh, the program named Reaper from Cocos. It's a free program. Or you can use the same as me. I will give you it for free. The links will be in the descri description below on the video. Uh, it's named Studio One from Presonus. Okay, it's because of I'm using the same card for recording video, and I'll just. I'll just start the program and then I will show you how I plugging uh, and turn the microphone in uh, just in the program. So I'm um, create new song, empty song. Okay, and here clicking right uh, my uh, right button of mouse and choose add audio track mono. So here we have a microphone, here is a knob for record and we can now record in
or one knob to monitoring your sound, your instrument. One. Okay, deleting this. I'm using the gator to remove the noise. You see here. That's what I'm using for this gator. Okay, and the Fab Filter Pro compressor. Uh, some plugins, uh, it's a plugin, uh, effects and instruments, effects, it's a plugins, VST. Uh, so, uh, we will start from the guitars. Uh, all the plugins uh, I will uh, give you for free, but some instruments uh, I will give you the link for uh, for torrent, and you have a quickly fast download it because it will be uh, the end is near for these torrents. Uh, or you can buy the instruments which I will show you. So, right mouse button clicking, add audio track mono, here is the information, and call it guitar. Left we will uh, recording the guitars uh, in double track for stereo effect. And I'll take our guitar. We'll monitoring it and listen. Okay. Click click uh, on your keyboard keyboard the key F3 and you will uh, see the mixer. Here's the arrow. And here our guitar. I will using the free plugin TSE 808 it's a little overdrive without it and with it and I will use the free plugin uh, from uh, Lepo plugins the amplifier simulator LE456 channel E A sorry uh, high gain, uh, high quality, not not stereo. Little bass, little mid, a little treble, and uh, the cabinet simulator. It's not for free, but I will give you it for free. Here I'm using my preset. You can watch. Here, cabinet tangerine, microphone 57, and on axis mic position, mid distance. Here, the cabinet second is okay. You can watch on this, and and here the frequencies. Okay, and here's the sound. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. Now, right mouse button clicking and duplicate it. Track. Name this guitar right. Yeah, here's turn pen to the left. And this guitar will be right. Yeah? Okay. Here we have a metronome volume here we have the metronome and uh, per count let's try to record in 160 tempo oops let's go So 
sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Let's try again. Okay, and this left guitar, and the same, the same, or you can use not the same, you can uh, use the combination like using the ACTC and much more uh, teams, uh, bands, I'm sorry. Uh, for today I will show you the same, I'm recording the same channels, the same uh, chords. Something like that. Okay. Um, now we need a bass guitar. But first we will... Uh, clicking on first guitar and hold shift. Clicking next guitar. And right mouse button, add bus for selected tracks. Now we have uh, uh, the one channel for these two guitars we can effect it and let's try um, use fab filter pro q it's a eq analyzer post eq and watching turn off the sub uh, ultra low We don't need this shit in our mix, in our track. And uh, the same with the high. It's a curve. Use it. Now we need more powerful. And more presence. Something like this. Okay. Now we need the bass guitar. A bass guitar. We have an instrument, a VST plugin player, uh, contact. Uh, it's a sampler, and here's the Promini SR5 rock bass I'm using. It's recorded uh, bass uh, instrument to the samples. Okay, here we are. Nice guitar, I like it, I love it. And uh, going to the our mixer F3. Oh my god, bass. And I will use the Bass Overdrive uh, TSE free plugin. High quality, level to the maximum. Presence. And EQ. Don't need so. A 
puedo. Ups, ups. I can find the frequency which you don't like. And turn it off or turn it on to the highest gain. And uh, we need uh, drums. It's more harder to set up. I'm using the superior drummer. I like the sound, uh, but for def in default it sounds like shit. Nothing like that. Okay, go to the mapping. Right mouse button. We will selecting uh, the kick drum and velocity to the 97 because it had too much. Something like this sound. Okay, clicking here, adding the tom, and that's enough. I think we have a nice drum set, but go to the mixer. In mixer we have a kick, three kicks, three microphones and outputs to the one track of the mixer. Here we see the one, only one track, but we need to separate it in the different uh, uh, tracks in the mixer, kick drum and one, and kick, uh, and uh, snare, we have two, three mics, uh, snare, to the three, four, out three, four, uh, high hats and overheads to the six, eight, here we have overhead. Six, uh, seven, eight. I'm sorry, seven, eight. Uh, ambient close, ambient uh, mid, ambient far, ambient mono, ambient bullet. I don't need ambient bullet. Bullet. I had more to the left channel, and our toms to the five, six, to the five, six. Five six, five six, five. Uh, oh my, yeah. five six, and uh, and that that's all. Okay, here we are. Turn it off. Expand this superior drummer. Expand, and here we have our channels: kick, snare, toms. And overheads oh H -H 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 -H. and what we I'm using for the drums I'm using you can use the compressor I'm using the nice compressor transient master Attack. Sustain. And gain is a gain. And snare drum. More attack, like. Yeah. And toms, uh, the same for toms. More 
gain. Okay. And for our heads, we can just use the simple uh, proceed from file filter uh, compressor, I mean. Yeah. And I like the reverb for the snares and toms. So clicking left button to the snare, holding control, click toms and uh, click right mouse button, add bus channel for selected tracks. And uh, here we have uh, Nice reverb for it. It's uh, many M reverb stereo from Waves. Here the drive, more to the dry, plate medium, for delay to the uh, twenty five something like that. Okay, something like this. Now, I forgot uh, we need to equalize. And the kick drum is the lowest drum, the lowest instrument in uh, in whole mix. You have to be lower than uh, bass guitar. Here we have kick, of course, it's not, we need, we will not use this, and this we will not use too, but we will use the 40 hertz, between 40 hertz, we will not use this. Okay, snare, let's do this more punchy, we will increase uh, uh, the 200 hertz. And this, and increase the high. Doms need more high frequencies, and we will give it to them. But not so ultra low. Okay, something like this. Overheads, 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 we will use the EQ and increase. The high frequencies, and get out these frequencies. Choose kick, bus, add bus for selected tracks, and here we will use the VOC 160 compressor. It's a vintage compressor. Not so hard. It's too hard.
too much overheads. Okay, let's listen, it's in the mix. <laughs> Okay, let's record it and quantize it. Close it, uh, click F2, a key on the your keyboard, keyboard F2. Ah, yeah. sorry. Mm, control A and uh, Q, it's a quantizing. <laughs> start to require the bass. Sorry, I'm not right. Uh, let's try it again.
Okay. But it's need to quantizing again as the drums. I don't know, I don't want to quantize it again and again. Just for video I will not quantize it. And need to listen all of this thing. <laughs> Okay, and the mastering, mastering, mastering. Prolimeter. It's a post. Uh, my God, sorry for my English. I'm not always can uh, find the words what I should to tell you. Using the EQ to increase more mm, frequencies like high. And we can compress it just a little. Not strong compressing like this. Something like this. I hope I help it with my win video. And to you guys, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. Okay, bye.